Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for how to build a stellated rhombic dodecahedron. Uh, the first thing you're going to need are eight of these subunits. The way that you build those is you start out with six stacked rings of ten magnets and you can cut them up into three double stacks and flatten them out into long straight pieces. You get three of those and you're also going to need a small triangle and three hexagon rings. What you do with two of those hexagon rings is you attach them down like that on either side of the small triangle. So you end up with this subunit. And then you take these and you want to remove the magnet off the point here for each one of them and then you want to attach it down onto the side of this piece just like that and you want to do that to all three sides of that piece so you end up with this and then the last thing that you want to do is take this uh, last hexagon ring and put it down on top of this hexagon here. Just like that. And that's how you get those, and you need eight of them. You're also going to need six of these. And to do that, you start off with three edge pieces, like the ones I always use. Um, Two of them are made out of stacked rings of 10, and those are the two short ones. And the one longer one is made out of stacked rings of 22. And so you remove the two magnets from the middle, like that. And then you remove the magnets from the points off of the short ones, at least just on one side. And then you attach them together just like that on both sides and then you can take a small little square of just four magnets and set it down on top here and that's how you get these and again you need six of them um, then the other thing you're going to need are 12 of these and just like with those, you start out with three long straight pieces. These are bigger though. Um, two of them are made out of stacked rings of 20. And this one, the larger one, is made out of stacked rings of 34. Um, so on the one with the stacked rings of 34, this starts out the same as the other one. You remove the middle two magnets, remove the magnets off the points on the two short ones attach them together. It's a little bit different here though now. Instead of just putting a square down, you want to put four individual magnets in each of the corners. Like that. And then after you do that, then you want to take a square and put it down on top of those. So you end up with this. And these are kind of big, and so they're not very strong at this size. So one thing I do to help reinforce them is the last thing you do to finish this subunit is you take a stack of rings of eight. It doesn't matter how tall the stack is, it's just, you know, reasonably tall. You only need the ring on the end, but you can't do it with just that ring. And you take the one on the end and you pinch it down into that shape. And then you attach that down in here. Just like that. And it should stick in there very strongly. If it doesn't, then you probably have the wrong polarity. And then you can take a card um, and remove the rest of them. And you're left over with that on the underside. And that makes this whole thing a lot stronger. And that's how you make those. And again, you need 12 of them. So. To start assembling this thing now, the way you do it is you take these and you attach them to these and you bring them to the sides like this and you push the points together until they click. And you never want to attach any of these four-sided ones directly to each other. You want to attach 
the four-sided ones to the three-sided ones, and you want to attach the three-sided ones to the four-sided ones. So they should never actually directly attach to another one of the same subunits. So go around until you have at least three um, kind of diamond-shaped faces complete. Okay, so you're at this point, and pause for a second, and I would say complete the whole base shape of a rhombic dodecahedron. The problem is, is that at this size, it's too fragile, it barely can stand up on its own, and it's really, really, you know, annoying to mess with. So rather than do that, I'm going to stop here, now that you have three of them, and add the first three of these pieces on. And the way that they go on is that you can see they have long edges and short edges, and you want that to line up with these faces. And the long ends just click down into the corners like that. And the short ends click down on the sides of those top hexagon rings, just like that. And so these attach in just like that. You want to go ahead and attach the first three of them. And now that those three are attached, you want to take this hexagon ring and kind of gently pinch it into a triangle, just like that. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that, I had a phone call. Anyway, once you're here and you've pinched that into a triangle, you can go ahead and flip it over onto those three kind of legs that you have there. And now, you can go ahead and finish the rest of the rhombic dodecahedron with all of these subunits. Okay, and now you can go ahead and add the rest of these on. Uh, one thing, as you complete corners, the, th the, uh, the three-sided corners with the hex rings, you want to go ahead and pinch those down into triangles as you go. And that is how you build a stellated rhombic dodecahedron. That's all there is to it. Um, and I guess I will go ahead and smash it.